YouTube channel. In this lecture series, I have discussed thermoelectricity chapter part 1 and part 2. In the part 1, I have discussed the Seebeck effect, the definition and in part 2, I have explained in detail the what is Seebeck effect and also what is neutral temperature and also what is temperature of inversion. In this part 3, we are discussing the Seebeck series or thermoelectric series. Now, let us discuss the Seebeck uh, effect along with the uh, thermoelectric series or Seebeck series. Now, after studying a number of metals and conducting a number of experiment, he arranged the metals in a systematic manner in a series. In a series. He arranged the, the metals in a series that is what a metals metals in a series series who arranged Seebeck arranged Seebeck arranged the metals a pair of arranged a arranged a pair of metals of a thermocouple thermocouple is called as a Seebeck or thermoelectric series thermoelectric series now we are discussing what are the what is the thermoelectric series Thermoelectric series is nothing but the systematic arrangement of the a pair of metals of a thermocouple. They are arranged by the Seebeck. That's why it is called as the Seebeck series or the thermoelectric series. Seebeck, Seebeck series or the thermoelectric series. Now, the metals in the series are the bismuth, nickel, palladium, platinum, copper, manganese, Hg, Pb, then gold, then silver, zinc, cadmium, and the iron and the sp these are all the metals seebeck arranged the different metals in a systematic manner are called as the what the thermoelectric series or the seebeck series of metals now the series starts with the bismuth and is with the ends with the sp now this series is depends upon the temperature the metals the position of metals the position of metals depends upon depends on temperature depends upon the temperature depends upon the temperature of a metal now the thermo emf the thermo emf magnitude magnitude depends upon depends on the thermo emf magnitude of a thermocouple of any thermocouple depends upon the the punish the temperature difference that is the temperature difference temperature be difference between what the metals of a thermocouple between the metals of a thermocouple metals of a thermocouple tc stands for the thermocouple here. here the temperature difference between the metals if the temperature difference is more if the temperature difference is more then the thermo emf is also more if the temperature difference is less then the uh, thermo emf is also less the second thing is the emf is more for the position 
of the metals in the series is starts with the, the bismuth and next to the next metals for example bismuth and the copper the they are very near therefore the thermo mf developed in between the bismuth and copper thermo copper the mf and also the bismuth and the iron thermo copper bismuth and the iron this emf this emf is more compared to the emf of the bismuth and the copper therefore the thermo emf the emf is also depends depends on the position of metals in a in a series in a series in a series therefore the position that is the bismuth and the copper bismuth and the copper they are very near they are very near these metals are near therefore their thermo mf is also less and the next is bismuth and the iron they are far away they are the far away is they are longer therefore their thermo mf is more therefore they are far away far away therefore the thermo mf between the metals near with each other their thermo mf is less the thermo mf is the far away their thermo mf is also more therefore the third one the third parameter is the the direction of the current the direction of current direction of current in the thermocouple circuit is from the metals is from the metals which comes in the first therefore the metals which are appear in the series in the initial towards the metal for away or the end therefore the direction of the current is known for example if you take the direction example is the uh, copper and the lead this thermocouple the current is moving from copper to lead the in the circuit in the circuit the current the direction of the current is moving from the copper to lead okay. now if you take the another one zinc and the zinc and the fe this thermocouple the current is moving in this direction from this zinc to the iron metal okay in this way the direction of the current is moving in this direction the direction of the current is moving from the metal which are appear in the initial to the last far away metal okay this is about the another important parameter of this feedback series thank you very much